Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. Welcome to the Outside View. This is by Women's Quick Zone and it's presented by BSV, Puma, Food and Wellness and AMRI Hospitals. And we are previewing the big one, Pakistan versus South Africa. And of course, it's big because we've got Tane Vanekar here with us to sort of set that clash up for us. And we'll be watching it very closely. Tane, first things first, how is Sunil is doing? Uh, how is Sunil is doing? So, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah that, I think it's going well. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't, I don't, probably don't speak often, but um, no, I think just on a cricketing level, you know, she's been incredible um, in my absence. And, you know, just, she was certainly, certainly thrown into the deep end a couple of years ago with my first injury, but um, the way she's handled herself uh, within the side and as a leader, um, you know, the results speak for itself, um, you know, what the team has achieved. So uh, hopefully she can continue that run uh, in, in this World Cup. Yes, South Africa has won their first game. This is their second encounter. But if we have to take a look at how Pakistan and South Africa have sort of faced um, or how they've fared when they've faced each other, if we take a look at the head-to-head, uh, it's, it's sort of a, a pretty much of a lopsided story there. Uh, South Africa getting the better of Pakistan 18 of the 24 occasions that they've played each other. A lot of pressure on someone like Bisma Maruf, um, Dani, especially coming back from you know, childbirth and you know, she has a lot on her, going on her plate. Um, it, it'll be a lot to sort of uh, assimilate at this point for her too. Yeah, I think the the thing for me is uh, it's just interesting because uh, what well following the warm up games, I kind of thought like yeah. Pakistan's actually finding their feet. You know, yeah. um, they haven't maybe played as much international cricket in the recent past as, as they would have probably liked. But um, I was just very interested, well, very surprised. You know, with their first game and um, the way it goes, and just, it just looked like their batting is but found one thing at the moment. And yeah. You're hundred percent right. She um there's a lot of lot on her shoulders, you know, she's still she's got the baba there as well. And um yeah, I think it's it, it's important for Pakistan not to to hammer on that too much, you know, because as a as a player and as a person, if if you hear about it all the time, you kind of put that unnecessary pressure on yourself. And I'm sure she will like that because she is the captain, but um, you know, they still have some quality players there as well. Uh, Javeria Khan. There's, there's there's a lot of players um that I feel like um, I've played against many times and I've, I've seen certainly some really good performances from them. So I think it's just about finding their, I guess, their mojo and, and their the way to play. Um, and I made the comment in the, um, you know, the review of the, of the New Zealand India game that I feel like um, all the teams should be brave in this World Cup. Yes, it's yeah. a bit slower, maybe wickets, but um, you're certainly not going to win a World Cup by being timid and, and um you know, at the moment, it just looks like the batting's a little bit timid and, um, you know, they don't quite know or finding their feet. So, um, in my, I think just they need to go out there and, and, and really uh, take on the game as, as attacking as possible. Um, obviously, within boundaries, you know, within cricket brain and knowledge, but um, certainly the mindset should be taking the game on and, and not, um, not be a bit too timid. Just to sort of reflect on something that Bisma Maruf has done, probably been one of the most shining sparks in the last match against, against the, in the match against Australia. She scored an unbeaten 78 of 122 deliveries. Quite a valiant effort there. But uh, Dani, if you just had to speak about someone like Bisma uh, when it comes to Bisma with the bat, um, how how uh, res- resilient has she uh, seemed to you? Yeah, she's won a couple of games off the back of her bat against us as well. Certainly frustrated me as the captain, but uh, that's the quality of Miss Pa. She, um, yeah, she she's very she's um, yeah she's she's very underrated in world cricket, if I can say it like that. I'm not within her side, but I think in world cricket she's she's as we mentioned carried a team um, for for many years, and um, I think she's a quality cricketer. Um, certainly have had some conversations with her as well, and a wonderful person and. Um, yeah, so I, th- I just think um, not too much pressure should be put on her. They need, you know, need to allow her to to do what she has been doing, and and need to find your your seniors to obviously support her um, when it comes to batting, and and um, you know let her just do her thing. But 
uh, certainly a, a quality quality cricketer. Yes, and it will be up to her to inspire her team as well when they take on South Africa. But if we have to speak about one player, one key player in the South African lineup, why not speak about Ayabonga Kaka, especially looking at the performance that she put in against Bangladesh in their lone match so far in the tournament. Four wickets and an economy of 3.2. Fabulous effort there. How uh, how impressive has she been, Dane? Yeah, I can't, I can't speak about her enough. You know, um, I keep on saying as I feel like a uh, a broken record or a stuck record, um, because uh, she, um, she's just coming to her own as as a, as a not just a cricketer, but as a you know as a leader within the side. Um, you know she she's found her feet and and she understands the game very well, and she keeps it simple. That's what I love about her. Um, you know, whenever I captain her, when I captain and I'm on the park, I I love going to her because she um she understands what she wants to do, and she um you know she keeps it again. She keeps it simple, and she makes my life certainly a lot easier um and if she has any questions or um plans she always um asks you and just bowlable and and you know the field's not set she's very meticulous when it comes to a field and what she wants to set and when she's unsure she she's never too shy to ask um some of her um her, her fellow pace bowlers as well so i think and i think that that's what makes her uh, so good these um the last couple of seasons for us is just how simple she keeps it and how she understands her her skill yeah, just a bit about the batting as well. Uh, what the, the who are the people that you would think uh, would sort of be key in this particular battle when it comes to South Africa with the bat? Yeah, it's good to see Lazali back within the the South African setup. I think the whole world is excited to see her. So I'm excited to see her go. She hasn't played for a bit, but man, she's quality. Um, you know, I've, I've loved playing with her. Um, you know, I speak uh, quite often to her and. Um, yeah, again, a bit biased, yeah, but I'm, I'm excited to see her go. Obviously, the big name, Laura Wolfart, I think uh, she's been outstanding since day one. Uh, she knows I'm a fan. Um, yeah. But um, also, the way Marazan has been hitting the ball as well, she's been standing out. Um, I think she's got an average of over 50 in the last year or so for, for a country at a very good strike rate. So um, I think, you know, in my opinion, th those are three key wickets, um, three key batters for Australia, Australia for South Africa, yeah. Australia. And um, and I think also just going around like Chloe Tryon, just that impact player and, um, you know, she's just, you know, she's a monster. Um, yeah. She's the ball very long and, and it looks like she's she's coming into her own again, the Chloe that we've we've known. And yeah, as you can see, their partnership was, it was match changing in my opinion, game changing for South Africa. They were in, in serious trouble and, and the way those two came out, um, they made it look a lot easier. Um, yeah, you know, I just think, and then you've got the experience of Mignon. I mean, you can't throw Mignon out there as well. I mean, I can speak about the whole batting lineup if I want to. I mean, you've got the captain in at four and all those, but uh, yeah, I can go on the whole day actually. But I think yeah, just we we'll leave that. We we'll leave that for tomorrow, Nani. We we'll leave that for tomorrow. I'm sure you have much to talk about. Uh, clearly, South Africa starting as favorite slightly more than Pakistan in this one, but yes. We want an exciting encounter, as we always say here at the Outside View. So do tune in early in the morning if you are watching from India for that encounter. Pakistan versus South Africa. And thank you as always, Dani. We'll keep watching and you keep watching the space for more.